Hello mushroom pickers and welcome back to Tung Soang Mushroom Farm. Today I just want to show you how I make some of my substrate. Um, so because we, we live rurally in Thailand, surrounded by paddy fields, there's an abundance of rice straw, rice maize and so on. So what I'm hoping to do is grow the majority of our mushrooms on um, things associated with rice so we, we're using waste byproducts of rice farming so um, I showed you the straw in a previous video so now I'm going to just show you how I make the maize because um, I sourced this locally I've even got videos of the farm it came from and, and where it was actually cut which I'll also add to this um, I'll just show you um, bear with me I'll, fl I'll flip the camera Okay, so this is basically the the, the shells of the of, of the rice grain. So many people are unaware that rice grows similar to wheat in in a field. I suppose that's the best thing you could compare it with. And this is the shell, of the, sort of the outer casing of the rice grain. So you you would be familiar with you know white rice and brown rice, but this is the shell that they remove before you get it. Now this is full of nutrients that mushrooms like, but we can't use it in this format. So what I have here is a little um, mill, which I simply just um, add the um, maize into here and so I, I fill that, I'll, I'll, I'll fire it up in a second um, and, and I plan to do a few drums of, of this today but this is this is some I, I prepared yesterday so that's basically ground down to a fine powder which is ideal as a supplement to go in with the um, rice straw so yeah I, I plan to do some trials I've pretty much got the farm ready to start now I'm just waiting on spawn which hopefully I can collect next week um, plan to go Monday, Tuesday next week and then we'll get into production. So um, the initial um, batches I'm going to make up is probably going to be 60% rice straw, 30% um, the rice maize powder and 10% spawn. Um, and, and I'll see how that goes. Um, a lot of the mushrooms in the Thailand they tend to grow on um, rubber tree sawdust um, and I'm I'm convinced I can grow on 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 straw I could I could be wrong but I'm gonna I'm gonna try anyway it may be that I have to use a mix and also include some uh, rubber tree um, sawdust but we, we'll see it's all down to trial and error I'm prepared to sort of take the risks and see what the outcome is um, but for me it would be far more cost effective if I can use rice byproducts rather than hardwood sawdust it's more costly more time consuming more impact on the environment whereas the, you know if we're using straw and this grain very little impact on the environment um, the issues I've got with using sword, hardwood sawdust is generally you've got to um, sterilise it. So normally in, in an autoclave, high temperature, um, to achieve them temperatures you, you're probably going to be using gas or burning logs. So the impact on the environment, you know, that's not what I want. So hopefully we can just go with straw um, and soak in lime bath overnight and then add these supplements 
my understanding is when you grind down the um, rice um, maize the heat involved in the grinding process kills off any bugs anyway so there's no need to sterilize but again I could be pretty wrong but I'm, I'm prepared to give it a try so yeah that, that's my setup um, I'll keep posting you and let you know the results over the next couple of weeks bye for now